How's it going, everyone? Ben Mills here, ITAM Ranger with ServiceNow, bringing you a brief video on our new feature called Publish Products. Uh, today's going to be a quick one, so um, we're going to go through a use case, uh, and then afterward we are going to go into a demo. That being said, um, if you want to follow along with me, the role required for the Publish Product feature will be the SAM admin role. Okay, so here's the scenario. We are in Software Asset Management Professional and we are working with Miss Software Asset Manager and she is happy. She is happy because her company has invested in SAM Pro. They've done their initial configuration and she is ready to take advantage of the many capabilities of SAM Pro, such as software normalization, automated license compliance, IT cost management, and software utilization management. So we have everything up and running and we begin our first software reconciliation job. And we start getting results in, right? We're getting results in for software. We're getting compliance p positions. Uh, they are they are coming in and they're all in our licensed workbench in the software asset workspace. So Miss Software Asset Manager sees this and she begins to think to herself, hmm, I don't think I'm really ready to manage all of these products just yet. I'm still waiting on entitlement data on many of these products. And we're only a three person SAM team. Is there a way to only report on what's being managed by my three person SAM team right now in this current phase of our implementation? And yes, yes, there is. That is where the published product feature comes into play. So the published product feature, uh, it is available in Washington DC or later. And what it's going to do is it's going to allow for a phased approach to standing up your SAM program by giving you the freedom to publish specific software products or product families when you are ready to. So with that being said, uh, let's begin the demo portion of this video where I show you how to uh, turn this feature on and how to employ it in your SAM instance. Okay, so first we're gonna take the initial step to enable the property uh, needed to take advantage of published products. So we're gonna navigate to software asset properties. So we're gonna go to software, asset, we're gonna head to properties and if we scroll all the way down, we'll see the property that needs to be checked in order to take advantage of published software products. So we're gonna enable that and hit save. Now that we've enabled the property, let's navigate over to the software asset workspace. Here we are in the license usage tab of the software asset workspace. And what we can see is we see all of the software publishers and the products that reconciliation is bringing back. Uh, up here, we have a new filter called publish or unpublish. And right now we're looking at unpublished, which again is why we are bringing back all of the software and software families um, being brought in through the reconciliation process. If we were to check the publish filter, we would notice that we have no content displayed. That's because we haven't added any products uh, to the publish products uh, section. So let's do that. Let's navigate over to license operation and we scroll down and we will see under SAM implementation publish products. So here we can add the specific products or product families that we want to manage and report on uh, in license usage. So let's click over to add, give that a moment. And we see that we have two ways of publishing products. We can do it by the individual product or we can do it by the publisher or product family. Now, one thing to keep in mind is if we have standalone products, that are also available as part of a suite, it might be a good idea to add both the standalone and the suite 
or in some cases, just add the entire uh, product family. For the purposes of this demonstration, uh, we are going to do the product Windows Server and a suite that um, it also comes in, which is Core Infrastructure Server. So um, we're gonna click on the filter here. I'm gonna select product. infrastructure and then publisher is Microsoft. All right, now let's run that. And we have core infrastructure server suite and Windows Server. And what we're gonna do is we are going to add those two products to uh, published products. Now, if we navigate back over to license usage, you'll notice that we still uh, have this information blank. That's because once we've published our products, we have to run a reconciliation in order for them to populate. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a reconciliation and when we come back, uh, we are going to look at um, the results of reconciliation and see if we were able to populate um, our published products. Okay, so reconciliation has completed. And as we can see, we only have one publisher displaying in license usage now. And if we go into this publisher, we only see the two products that we chose or published uh, in the published products. Now we do have the ability to toggle back the unpublished if we want that view as well. Now, one thing to keep in mind is Published products not only determines what we see in license usage, but it also determines uh, some of that IT cost management information that we want to see. So we have the ability to see these uh, analytics based on our published products, or we can switch over to unpublished to also see what some of those cost and compliance statuses um, are for your entire software asset estate. Thank you all for joining me through today's journey through published products. I hope you found today's session informative and that we've empowered your segmentation through better clarity in reporting. I've included a QR code, which should take you to the ServiceNow doc site, uh, which will provide you step-by-step -step guidance through what we've walked through today. Please stay tuned um, in the Ask a Ranger channel where we will continue to post uh, more videos in the asset management space.